So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Today, Apple made available the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max again, but this time in green. And we have the Alpine green model here. We're gonna take a look at it today for you because you know, it's springtime, things are turning green soon. And uh, yeah, we have a green iPhone. The real reason though, that I actually really like this is because I miss my iPhone 11 Pro Max in the midnight green. So I was excited to check this one out and show you this one to kind of get a good look at the device. And right away, a little bit of a different green right here, looking a little bit more like a forest, you know, forest green, but very beautiful. And definitely you're not gonna confuse this with any turquoise, blues, anything like that. This is a pure green. And of course the beautiful stainless steel edges on this device right here. We'll go ahead and peel this off and get this thing turned on. And this, this video, we're not gonna really review the entire 13 Pro Max, but I will talk a few things about it. You can kind of see the matte textured back here on the back of this green iPhone. And in different lightings, it's gonna look a little bit of a different green. Like if you look at it straight on, it might look a little different than when you look at it in a different light like that. But overall, you're not gonna confuse this for any other color. Now I will say on the edges, it's not super noticeably green on the edges there. It looks kind of dark, like almost like the graphite one, but still that back really gives it away. And there's still enough green in those edges that you're not gonna confuse it. What a gorgeous piece of hardware right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box. You do have yourself the lightning cable. And of course you're gonna get yourself the Apple stickers and a SIM card tool in here with the warranty guides. Apple is slimming down the package more and more every year. All right guys, so we're now in the iPhone 13 Pro Max in green, and the first thing I wanna show you is that it does come with its own exclusive green wallpaper, but you can also get this on any of the other Pro or Pro Max phones if you update to iOS 15.4. Now, this is a really great time to launch this new refresh color because I've noticed that my 13 Pro Max, the graphite edition, has been so much smoother here on iOS 15.4. It's been faster, it just performs better. So now if you waited it out and now you get this green iPhone 13 Pro Max, if you were waiting, this is gonna be a great time because it performs even better than when it first launched. So very nice. Overall though, I gotta say that the iPhone 13 Pro Max remains at the top of the charts as one of the best phones. It might be the best phone you can buy right now. 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display on board, that's HDR10, a boss status triple reel camera with new photographic styles. A lot going on for this phone. I'm noticing right away, if you look inside the camera housing there, that's really green. I really do like that, I just had to notice that really quickly, that's pretty obviously noticeable. But other than that, you're gonna get a nice large 4352 milliamp hour battery on here. Of course, the beautiful overall look. There's not much more to say about this green, you know, I'm not gonna talk too much more about it, but I am gonna show you some camera samples of, you know, how great this camera really has been in a little bit. But let's take a look at this compared to some other iPhones. So we're gonna start with the graphite uh, version. This is the one I've been using for like the past six, seven months. And I, yeah, I love the graphite, but this green, I think is gonna take it for me here. But this is the great thing about the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It really doesn't matter which color you go with. They're all beautiful colors and they're all premium looking. However, of course, the green is the new kid on the block and definitely has more flair, I think, than this graphite color. Let's go ahead now and take a look at the Sierra Blue. Now I don't have the 13 Pro Max in Sierra Blue, but I got the 13 Pro, same color. And I don't know, this is a tough call here. Some people are gonna prefer that blue. That's This is a tough one. They both got some flair to them. But I will say that I do prefer the edges on the Sierra Blue. They do stand out a little bit more. But the iPhone 13 Pro Max in the green, definitely coming up there close to that Sierra Blue, I think in the flair department just, you know, it just looks good. I don't have the gold one, so we're not gonna look at the gold one today, but that's pretty good. And then let's take a look at the iPhone 11 Pro Max in the midnight green. If you've been holding out and you want this phone, you're gonna notice right away that the iPhone 13 Pro Max has much larger cameras than the 11 Pro Max. The edges are much more flat and squared. And of course, the green itself, that's what we're talking about here today, is more green. This is less green to me on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Not that it's not green, it's a little bit darker though. I prefer this more in your face forest green of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And if you look in the camera housing, 
not so much green. And the camera housing of this one, it's really, really green. So when Apple says green this year, they mean green. Let's go ahead and take a look at my 12 Pro Max, which is in silver. This will be similar to the 13 Pro Max in silver. You can see, I love the silver. It's classy, it's clean, but there's nothing too special. It's a very neutral color. It's kind of like the graphite, but the opposite way. I still like the green overall. Let me know your thoughts. Are you feeling this green or not? And then the last one I really want to look at is the S22 Ultra because these are the two green phones out there. And now that you see them side by side here, which one do you prefer? Some are going to like this green on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's very unique looking. I actually really like it too. But some people are going to like this more actual green of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Either way you go here, these are two beautiful, nice colors here in 2022. So yeah, they're very different in the way they look in the green department, but it's really up to you to decide what you prefer. And lastly, I wanna take a look at this side by side for you with the S22 Plus, which is quite similar to that green on my S22 Ultra. And you can see overall, it's got that similar feel on the S22 Plus as the Ultra. This green is a standout on the Alpine green for the iPhone. 13 Pro Max. I had to answer one question. Let's take a look at some angles here of the phone before we get out of here. The Do you wait for the iPhone 14 Pro Max or do you get this phone? And the answer to that question is if you waited this long and you weren't actually considering the 13 Pro Max, I'd wait for the 14 Pro Max. But if you wanted the 13 Pro Max, but you weren't a fan of a lot of the colors or you had the 11 Pro Max, you love the green, you were waiting for this again, this is your move right here. In addition, if you're just ready and you're like, I'm getting a 13 Pro Max, and then they just launched this color and this is the color that you really prefer, again, perfect timing for you. But if you've been waiting it out and you never were super impressed by the iPhone 13 Pro Max, nothing's really gonna change for you, it's the same phone. But I've been ultra impressed by this phone. It's been my favorite iPhone all time, you know, for the larger iPhones right after the iPhone 8 Plus. So that's gonna be it for the green iPhone 13 Pro Max. I think you'll have a really good idea now of this phone if this green color is for you. What do you think about it down below? Are you picking one up? They also have these in the iPhone 13 Pro models, the smaller version. And go ahead and take a look at some sample photos. And so that's it. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.